Welcome back. This is Random Noobs. Manga Chapter Discussion 75 of Dragon Ball Super. Did I say it right this time? Sure, sure. We let it rock. <laughs> yeah. Before we start, if you are not a subscriber to our YouTube page, our Instagram page, you need to do it. I was thinking about the pages we have. And that's about it for now. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Hit exactly. that bell. So you always get notifications when we drop new content on IG and on YouTube. And let's get it started. Let's do it. You know, I really forgot to. This is a podcast. <laughs> no, 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 this is not a podcast. <laughs> oh, shit. We, we, we're content creators now. Oh, yeah. We on YouTube, baby, all the way. Forget about podcasts. We're not on Spotify. No, no, no. We also, we also have a podcast. We're not oh. just a podcast. We also have a podcast, along with the other content we put out. We content creators. Are, right? Yes, that's our title right now. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the chapter came out today, a couple days, two days early from the recording before the 20th. Came out on the 18th. I guess a little surprise for us. So, what was your impressions of the chapter without diving in? Overall, I like the chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say number scale, real quick, I would go 8 out of 10, probably. That's where my temperature was. I, I, I really enjoyed all the stuff that happened in it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all. <laughs> I agree with you, not because I just want to agree with you, but because the way the chapter was, it made sense to be an 8 out of 10. It had the action, it had the... Some inform some information that we was wondering and the ending was solid for the chapter. So now getting into it, when the spoilers came out, I was initially upset that potentially this is gonna happen with you know in this chapter. But after reading it every uh, uh through it all, I'm actually excited the way that they wrote it and the way that they pieced everything together. It makes sense, you know? That's why you gotta wait for the official translation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna start with the, the 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 elephant in the room of, you know, right before the chapter came out, the 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 last not the last panel, but the panel probably like two three panels came out of Vegeta on the ground looking like he was defeated. I'm happy yep, that was when a spoiler. we got contacts. Yeah, I'm happy when we got contacts. It wasn't that he was defeated. It was just that in that moment, he was just knocked to the ground. More of a surprise, not like, you know, this fight is over, which I'm happy with because, you know, Vegeta, as much as he's been through, you know, like, he, he need to get some, some, some type of win, you know? <laughs> no, and especially like this guy's a direct connection to his saying, uh, li not lineage, um, just history. Especially with Frieza, you know, yeah, Vegeta deserves this win. You know, he's not like the strongest or like a very good win, but he deserves a win. Just give it to him. You know what? I don't think they're going to kill him. Just, just saying that. Just putting that out there. Yeah. Like, and with this, I believe this is going to end somewhat like in a draw somehow. Like, they're not going to really fight to the end. Some, something is going to happen. Maybe they're finally going to realize something, but we we'll, we'll, they. I mean, I guess we go a little early with the predictions for the next one, but I think that, like you said, a draw, but that dude who told Granola to do this fight and to find the Dragon Balls, he might be the old, like the ultimate villain in a weird way because he's like, oh, let them fight, let them three fight and, and, you know, weaken themselves out. We have the Dragon Balls. I doubt Freeze is going to pop up. I really doubt it. But I think he's going to get the Dragon Balls, make a wish, and then them three going to get together with Goku and Vegeta's new power-ish. And then this Granola going to be like, oh, I have a new power as well. And, you know, let's save the world or the universe. I don't know. It's it's all a uh, misunderstanding, especially, like, when Vegeta told him, like, I don't give a damn. I don't need your pity at all. But I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with your planet. Frieza destroyed my planet and my people, me, basically me and that dude over there you beat up are the only Saiyans, full blood of Saiyans left. Not in Colleen Brody and the other universe. But, you know, and he was like with that, you know, AI sh stuff, he was like, oh, nah, you know, like he was, he didn't want to hear the truth. And that AI is doing something, I don't know. It's a little fishy. That, that could also be a villain. 
I think I think that he he's probably going to show up on a battlefield. That's his part his partner um, oatmeal. So I think he's probably <laughs> going to show up on a battlefield. Oatmeal. His, yeah, <laughs> he's probably going to be the one to kind of like talk sense into Granola. I guess is the okay. best way I can put it. And he's probably going to be the one to bring that fight to to an end. But um, yeah, like I'll, I'll just how how do you feel about the name all, all Ultra Ultra Ego? Um, honestly, it's not an official name. It's just what Vegeta gave himself, and it it makes sense because you know Goku's form is Ultra Instinct, right? And I can't, for me, I cannot believe how obvious Vegeta's side to it. it seems flawed, of course, but I can't believe how obvious we haven't noticed. You know, Granola was saying. It's all about, you know, dodging and weaving. And and Goat and Vegeta is like, nah, I ain't like him. I don't run away. I'm full pride. You know, I'm egotist- an egotistical bastard or whatever. And this form makes sense. The, you know, the more angry he gets, the more powerful he gets. Or the more damage he receives, he's more powerful. So I like the the like the unofficial name that he gave himself. I just hope that's not the official name. Like, I understand there's, a, I guess, a variant or the other side of the coin of Ultra Instinct, but Ultra Ultra Ego, nah. Maybe like Ultra Shield or Ultra Buffer, if you want to use the Ultra part. But, I mean, they can do a lot of things better. I mean, we got Cobalt <laughs> Blue, so their naming is not looking so well. I mean, that's not an official name, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, but I'm sure he had some type of input in the anime. Well... If you if we go based Toriyama. on Toriyama, yeah, but if we go wondering. based on everything that came out, I think it was called Level Level Beyond Blue, something like that. That like when it, when when you go to official guidebooks and stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, I believe that was the, the name that it was it was given. But I'm about to verify that right now. We fact checking out here, but hey, um, live on this thing, we are fact checking. <laughs> but uh for the at least the the in the in the manga itself you know i thought like you know him basically first uh, the first statement was the more in tune he is with the fight the more powerful he is and then the the second statement is as i take hits i keep growing stronger so you know that's it was... what she said <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> It's called Blue Blue Evolution Vegeta. That's what it's called. <laughs> SSB Evolution. That's what, I guess Blue, right. Blue Evolution mm-hmm. Vegeta. Um, <sighs> but yeah. Uh, so I, a darker yeah, blue. You know, as the as the fight was going on, you know, he was beating the holy hell out of Granola, and yeah, it was just seeing what this power is capable of. At least at this moment in time, because you know it's his first time using it. Um, one thing I was like, kind of more so, I wish. It's probably going to give context to it later, but he was saying that Granola was the one that pushed him to that form. So I was wondering, like, does that mean like he actually like unlocked that form in the fight? Is this something he worked on with Beerus, or maybe he just didn't know how to like fully utilize it when he was working with Beerus? I think we'll probably get more context to that later. And then one one very cool thing I wanna I wanna bring out is never in the history of Dragon Ball has this happened. Vegeta pulled his arm off. Oh yeah, when I saw that happen, I was like, "Oh shit!" I mean, I was like, "I can't wait to see that animated." I like Vegeta with his armor on. He look, he looks fire. Yeah. <laughs> man it just gives sad. me that uh, Majin Vegeta vibes. Yes, which was his best costume, or I mean, uh, clothing. Excuse me, besides the pink suit. <laughs> uh, I, I thought he was in. A, forget that. I, I know. Yeah, it never really that. happened. <laughs> His um, armor breaks off pieces and stuff, but he never just... Just said, you know? fuck it. <laughs> Did you notice how Vegeta, during the fight, was, like, getting... Excuse me, but getting turned on. Like, his eyes, he had the veins. So he was like, yes, keep hitting me. Like, I want more. And, like, his, it's like he was getting addicted to it. Because there yeah. were a couple panels that you see the lines on his eyes, and it's like the, the veins and, you know, the whole... The emphasis... Of him loving it, and that those like those images, like when he has a kind of this crazy look on his face, like he's really enjoying it. 
that kind of goes back to like the core of Vegeta's character of loving the thrill of the fight and how he mentioned that, you know, before, like right now he doesn't have to fight to protect. He's just fighting out of sheer enjoyment of fighting. So all those mm-hmm. like little, those subtle things that happen throughout the shower, the shower, the chapter of him, um, of, of like just his facial expressions that really highlights that, like him enjoying it. The, the fight just keeps saying, you know, like, let's go. Come on. Like, yo, like I'm here. I'm ready. Like, let's, let's get this going. So like all I, like I was enjoying every part of it. Um, you know, Goku showed a little cameo on this one. People are going crazy on Twitter that he's healing himself, which they should know this is not the first time he has done this. But it's interesting, you know, that he's like, I don't know how that works, honestly. Like, giving your own energy to yourself to heal yourself, like, you know, unless you're like Naruto using sage mode. It's, it's, it's weird because manga way he hasn't done it but in the anime he has done it so it's kind of like you know the the anime and the manga go different paths so it's hard to say so like right now at least for manga this this kind of feels like an an ass pull in a way but wait a second vegeta was, I, well like you said ass pull and I'm, I'm here thinking like vegeta can do hakai but so can goku but Goku had no training. Why he just saw it and was like, "Let me just try it." Remember that when he tried it on um, what's this guy's name Zamasu. Uh, Zamasu, yeah. And I'm like, Arch, wait, wait a Zamasu? second, that worked, didn't it? In I believe way? he missed, but I don't but, remember. But he tried. Yes, and he did try. I don't know. I, I damn. But you know, it's a good point. You know, transitioning from that. Did Vegeta, like you said, activate it during this fight? Or maybe Beerus told him about this power, this is what how we do it, and then since he already had the concept in his mind of more or less like how to act how does someone activate it or knowing what it feels like, maybe in this fight it just kinda like clicked in him and he evolved. You know you know when the anime does that transition, that uh new transformation during the fight? You know, it could be that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we're not gonna find out. I just wish they would explain why his eyebrows disappeared. You know, and it seems like I mean, his hair is to, darker. To be honest, color. to be honest, like with the with the eyebrows, I feel like that fits Vegeta a lot more than Goku. No, of course. I think I'll probably Goku. we spoke about this before, but <laughs> yeah. Um, and then also, you... like in this in this chapter. Like Vegeta, the look of Vegeta, like his body, because we only got really like that one image of him, you know, like finish powering up. I'm happy that it wasn't like, like in that image of last chapter, how he looked really stocky, like kind of super Saiyan. No, not super, super Vegeta. Um, yeah, South Saga, he looked more like that. And majority of these panels, he didn't look like look that way. And I'm kind of I'm happy about that because I'm not really, I wasn't really feeling that stocky look. It was it was it was okay like in that moment. But, like, him moving around and just, you know, in different poses throughout the chapter, I'm happy that's not how he looks. So, It also seems like in this chapter, this form gave him enhanced speed and strength. Because yes. Granola before was, like, on top of it with his eye, and he couldn't keep up. He, he couldn't. And then when Vegeta near the ending was going to, like, I'm going to destroy this entire planet, he had to use two eyes to, like, yo, I can't really avoid this. You know, it's I have to, you know, attack him. It's like Granola, you know, you see Granola really on the ropes. Yeah, like that. That when he put the bubble up, and right before G- Vegeta broke it, I believe he, his statement was like, "Why are you not dodging?" And like, mm-hmm. you know, like, mm-hmm. "Why are you not dodging, dodging like your friend over there?" And then Vegeta's response is like, basically, like, "Who needs to dodge? Like, fuck, I take all these hits, and you know, I get stronger." So. When you know, like throughout that 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 whole moment, you know, it's like shit. Like, yo, like Vegeta is like on a different level right now, and like you understanding his his power, but like to like the the training that he went through, I don't really feel like we saw like the product of the training aside from the form until like the end when he said he was going to destroy the planet because he said that the the ball he created was all Hakai energy. So it looked amazing, though. Yes. I mean, when it gets animated, hopefully, if it gets animated, 
We still got the moral arc and stuff. But <clears throat> what, what did do you think? No, 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 no. It's not an asshole. It's not an asshole. You know, his eyes. You know, now he has two shotting gun eyes. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it made perfect sense because he says, you know, like, you claim that I don't know how to use this power, so I'm going to learn how to use this power. And basically, the same way, it was like, the same way he pushed Vegeta to new levels, Vegeta basically pushed him to new levels. So... When that happened and he unlocked his other eye, you know, and at the end of the chapter, he says, you, you helped me to unlock this new power. For me, that, like, it made sense. Because we still don't, we don't know his true potential. Like, what is he, like, <clears throat> truly capable of if his back was pushed against the wall? You know? It felt like the power he was using was just the borrow power. Now, this is how, like, this is his real power. This is, you know, what he was born with, something that he's familiar with. His family's innate ability, you know. I, you know, when Vegeta was doing that, you know, that big ball, I thought when he was doing the arrow type of stuff that he was gonna hit Vegeta in the chest, not hit the ball itself. Me too. I thought but he was I, gonna shoot through it. But then again, if he hit Vegeta, the Hakai ball is still falling, right? I don't think it yeah. dissipates. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, so, I feel like that feat is less impressive because. It, it kind of is like Vegeta gave him the out right before that by Vegeta saying that whatever this touches, it's going to destroy. So in essence, I feel like he told Granola, hey, if you shoot this, you're going to make it blow up. Like, Yeah, but that's not like a simple, I don't think a simple Kai, like a simple key blast is going to destroy that. Yeah, I it think would, because you know, Granola has that that special eye, he can see the, the weak point and then, you know, maybe so small and finite, he can hit that. Mm -hmm. That's why he needed two eyes, or you know, he just activated. I don't, I don't know, like that part. Either he it just was, activated, or he knew yeah. about it because because he discarded oatmeal. He ang he activated his mangeko. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he killed uh, his whole family, so then he got his mangeko. Okay, Tachi. I mean, I, I, no, that's Sasuke. Um, because Sasuke got the arrows too. They, there you go. <laughs> he's crying about, oh, you destroyed my family. There you go. He's fighting his brother. <laughs> now, now, it's... now we're going to, now next episode, not next episode, next chapter, we're going to be talking about how he got, how he's going to have to start slowly going blind and he got to get the Eternals. <laughs> yo, he had to get the Dragon Balls to fix his life and be like, yo, can I get my vision back? Like, <laughs> you know, because his chief is dead. He ain't getting a brother. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I can't. I can't wait to see like this chapter in color. That too. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. months down the line, but this, that's something I want to see. But that's fan made, isn't it? Now they they actually do like official colorings sometimes. So not all the chapters, just not all some the chapters, chapters, just some. Okay, a good one, like the, well, you know, the mm -hmm. action packed ones, that's, or the finale, finale. Like whenever this volume comes out, I'm pretty sure Vegeta's gonna be on the cover. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Like the manga um, cover, right? Yeah. Like the cover of that manga book? Yeah. Okay, okay. I hope so. At least I'm sure. I hope this ends with Vegeta. I hope if Goku comes, just like helps Vegeta at the end of it. And Vegeta's like, oh, I know how to feed him. I don't know. Yeah, I hope like, the um, well, Go Goku's line was that he sensed, he sensed Vegeta was fading. Like he sensed Vegeta's power wasn't, like he wasn't, you know, like as on edge as he was in the beginning versus now. And then he was saying that he felt granola, you know, his, his energy becoming like more sharper, like more precise. I mean, it makes sense because Vegeta just started his power. He doesn't know anything and well, not anything, but <clears throat> just too very new to him. And, you know, he used a lot of energy that Hakai blast or tried to. And when it exploded, the kickback pushed him on the floor and, you know, he used a lot of keys. So it, it's like Goku when he first when he went Omen State, and then at the at the end he was like, "Oh, I'm really tired. I'm really weak." I think he tried to face Jiren, and Jiren was like, "Oh, this is, you know, this is a problem, but I'm still knocking you out." Goku was on the floor. Mm -hmm. I think Vegeta saved him at the last. Like he was about to fall out, right? Vegeta, no, no. I think he just fell on the floor. It depends on which one we're talking about, and I remember the anime the more than I do the manga. I was just saying the first time. The first time Goku used Omen against Jiren. Which was the first time, you know? So, like, 
Goku fell, you know, he gets exhausted. And he kept, you know, improving during the fight. Vegeta, the, I'm sure this was a tournament. Vegeta activated that power in the beginning. He will be evolving it during the the whole uh, tournament. Mm-hmm. Now, yep. I I don't know what's going to happen next because, you know, with the movie that seems like a Gohan-centric uh, plot, I hope the manga, like, stops doing Goku Vegeta. Like, can you give Gohan some love? Because if Goku Vegeta becomes Angel and Destroyer, who protect the Earth? Because technically, that's not their job. Mm-hmm. So it kind of goes to Gohan Piccolo? One of them? You know, we shall see. Man. That father and son duo? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, at the end of the day, this, you know, going forward, this manga is going to solely be around Goku and Vegeta. And then whoever else gets gets love gets love. Like, you know, like, I, I would love to see maybe Broly make an appearance. He he is canon to, to the manga. So, but... You know, we, we see, we'll see. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Try some stuff out, man. You really had <clears throat> to do it? <laughs> I definitely did. I definitely did. <laughs> I'm done. This is Random News Manga Discussion 75. Well, no. Mon- second Manga Discussion. For Chapter 75, Dragon Ball Super. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Anchor, and Apple Podcasts. There's a content creator, Random News, and we out.